Have you ever tried to sew teeny tiny armholes and they didn't fit over the arm of your machine? They were just so hard to sew. It doesn't fit. Well, it can be really difficult. So I'm going to show you two different ways that you can sew these teeny tiny little arm side here. You know, the ones that may not necessarily fit around the arm of your machine. I'm gonna show you two different ways to get those on so you can choose the version that's best for you. I'm Maddie with Maddie Sews, and let me just show you how to do this. The first way is we're going to apply the bias tape in the round when that side seam is already sewn up. I'm also going to show you Thoughtful Creativity's way. I picked this up from her channel. Um, but her way to finish these um, arm side by applying the bias tape while the side seam is still open. Now, if you're new to making bias tape, I have a tutorial on how to quickly make a whole bunch of double folded bias tape in a cinch, really, it's the easiest thing. So I'll link to that up at the very top here and you can queue that up to play next if you're interested. Let's just go ahead and open up to this little arm side right here. Now, I like to fold one and under and wrap it around right at that seam line. And I'm just going to continue sandwiching this arm side all the way around. Now this dress does call for a half inch seam allowance. So if you were attaching a sleeve, this arm side would technically be about half an inch larger. However, when you're making a sleeveless garment, you typically want that arm side to fit a little closer to the arm. And so I am just going to sandwich my fabric right in between my bias binding here. So that way it does provide a bit of a closer fit. Okay, and here you see I'm at the beginning where I started. I'm just gonna cut this a little short, tuck in this end and wrap it around. Now I'm going to take this to the sewing machine and I'm going to sew close to this edge right here all the way around. All right, so I thought I'd bring you over to the sewing machine so you could see how I sew these little tiny arm side in place when they're in the round. I flip my dress inside out and you can see here that I'm sewing so that the good stitches are going to be on the top side. And I'm going to sew close to that edge. So I'm going to move my needle over so that it's closer to this edge over here. Now because this armhole is so little, I was not able to put it around the arm of my machine which is fine. I'm just going to stitch a little slower all the way around, adjusting my fabric as needed. Okay, so here you can see the one arm side was sewn in in the round with the binding and I used black thread so that you could see what I did just a little more clearly than if I had used a matching pink. So now I'm going to show you a different technique for this side while the side is still open. So go ahead and open up your arm side here. And we're going to sandwich 
I'm going to overlap this just a bit. Here I'm just going to continue sandwiching my fabric in between my bias tape. And I am going to take this all the way around the arm side. Okay, so you can see I am pinned all the way around. Now I'm going to take this to the sewing machine and I'm going to sew close to this edge right over here again, back stitching at both the beginning and the end. So you can see here, I have my binding attached and all you're gonna wanna do now is match up those side seams and then close up your side seam. Take this over to the sewing machine and sew your half inch seam allowance. Now I've finished my seam and I've pressed it out um, so that it is facing towards the back of my garment. Now the binding is a little loose up at the top here. So I'm just going to take this on over to my sewing machine and sew a couple of stitches right over here so that way it stays flat and doesn't move. And it'll just be a couple of stitches, so it's not a big deal. This is what the two different arm side look like. See? And there you go. That's how you can sew binding onto your little teeny tiny armholes without losing your mind. <laughs> so if you haven't tried one of these two techniques, why don't you try doing what I did and doing one armhole using the, each different method and see which version you like. <laughs> and in case you're wondering, this dress is going to be the Alice in Tent dress where I've attached some little tiny strawberry pockets and I'll have a tutorial coming for you soon on that. This fabric was given to me by Three Little Birds. It's the really cute strawberry fabric. <laughs> and there's a link for the 15% discount for fabrics all month from Three Little Birds down in the description box below. So make sure that you check out that link. And if you're here for Project Dresser Girl, don't forget to check out this video right here, which is a Spanish tutorial of how to make a rainbow t-shirt dress by Sirena Patterns. And if you missed the kickoff video, once again, it's right up here. And you all, until next time, I sincerely hope that you find joy and have a wonderful day.